is around the corner and with so much photo taking and so many people looking at you, you're probably going to agonize over what to wear, where to buy them. And you can tell your family, I need new clothes and go mad shopping and they can't say anything because you actually do need new clothes. Mm -hmm. So in this episode, Gem and I are going to show you what we're going to wear this Chinese New Year. So what do you normally wear for Chinese New Year, like over the past few years? Actually right, my Chinese New Year clothes are not very Chinese even. It'll be like maxi dresses, jackets, it's all like my normal clothes but new law. What I'm going to start with is prints. If you're like me and you don't really go for prints much, then maybe you could try loud prints but in a muted tone so you don't step too far out of your comfort zone but it's still like, you know, interesting. So this is something that I would match with a white skirt. This wrap skirt also is something that I think is pretty versatile, super flattering because it's like this origami cut thing which I previously laughed at Drea for wearing. It just looks like a baby diaper, lor. <laughs> <laughs> but now I have to eat my words. Normally, Chinese New Year people will act, you know, want to wear red or gold, which is like very Chinese New Year colours. So, There's why a, no red? There's a gold zip here! And red comes in the form of ang pao, okay? So, or, or your lips! Or your ah, yes. So, you can go for prints, which is like one option, because loud prints are very in next season. And you want to buy stuff for Chinese New Year. I mean, you don't want to buy stuff that you can wear once a year and then never wear again for the rest of the year. You don't want to buy like a tea towel or something because like, you know, you will wear it once and then never wear it again, especially if you're on Actually, like a budget. Actually, that's what I do. Wear a tea pao in like April or September. No, 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 as in like wear a tea pao once and probably never wear it again. But those things are expensive. It is, but it's an investment. Like my plan is to collect like tea pals every year and then pass them to my daughter and say like, this is like my whole collection of tea pals. You can have it. It's like an heirloom. The next outfit I'm going for uh, incorporates two trends. One is the upcoming boxy trend. The kind of silhouettes is very straight cut. I have a boxy top here which also like incorporates one of the other trends this season which is the wordplay trend where you wear shirts with like big loud words. It doesn't even have to be words that make sense. They just need to be like loud. I would pair this boxy wordplay top with a black wrap skirt. If your family is more traditional, you might want to go for a white or cream skirt instead and that will work as well. So I could wear this on its own during Chinese New Year or with a leather jacket and maybe in the second half of the year. This top plus a leather jacket plus a black skirt plus heels will look so badass. When it comes to Chinese New Year, I am pretty traditional in the sense that I like to wear Chinese New Year colours like gold, red, pink and coincidentally these colours are very on trend for Spring Summer 2014. So when I go shopping, I don't exactly like think about what I want to buy beforehand. I just go to the shop and see if anything fits like the colours I want and then I buy it. So what I would wear for Chinese New Year, which I have learned from my past mistakes, is to wear like shorts or skirts. But of course like not risque shorts like you know, decent shorts. Because I don't like wearing long pants. You know you're going to move from house to house. It's going to be so hot, so you're gonna sweat. Everything needs to be more airy, fairy, flowy, so that I get lots of ventilation. So I got this pair of yellow tweed shorts. I will probably pair it with another casual top. It's of like the orange family, another festive color. Again, there's lots of ventilation going around. I make it sound like I sweat a lot. Like guys, I just sweat like a normal person. You make yourself sound like an apartment, so you sound like. The thing I like about this outfit is that it has red tones, very Chinese New Year. Yellow gold tones, also very Chinese New Year. So I'm a walking Chinese New Year ambassador. Exactly. Then again, this outfit is not exactly very sloppy because of the material, right? This is tweed and you know, this is actually made very, of very nice material. It's very solid. solid. But do you not everyone be so daring as to wear like such stark colours? So what would you recommend for someone who wants to take your suggestion and wear something like more casual but doesn't want to go so bright? If you want to wear something that's more muted, you can go for a gold top, which is also very festive, also very Chinese New Year. If shorts are too casual for you, you might want to opt for a skirt. Over here, I have my orangey red skirt. I've actually had this skirt for a couple of months now. It's not exactly very new, but because I really like it, I'm probably going to build an outfit from it. This skirt is slightly above the knee. It's not exactly very long, so it won't be very hot. I'm going to pair it with a white top, which is very clean, very preppy, to give it a more formal look. Something that probably you might want to wear to your boyfriend's parents' house. And this is so great, right? Because you can continue to wear it throughout the year. Mm. I mean, white tops never go out of trend. True. 
We've come to the end of this episode and we hope you found this episode really useful in terms of finding tips and getting advice on what to wear for this upcoming Chinese New Year. Let us know what you want to see in upcoming episodes by leaving a comment in our comment box below or follow us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash So from the both of us, we want to wish you a very happy Chinese New Year. Gong Xi Fa Tai, Nian Nian You Yu, Xue Ye Jin Bu, Tou Fa Piao Liang. Juni Jin Nian Hen Duo Piao Liang Yi Fu. <laughs> 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 See you next time. Bye. <laughs>